Late in the year 2023, the Tesla Cybertruck, which has been in production for a very long time, will eventually begin mass production. One of the Tesla models that fans are eagerly anticipating is the pickup truck. Other Tesla models that are being eagerly anticipated include a supercar, a self-driving taxi, and a semi-truck that is already in pilot production. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has also entertained the idea of a more affordable automobile, an all-terrain vehicle, ATV, and a van. A significant number of these automobiles have already been subjected to lengthy delays, and it is impossible to predict when or even if they will be released to the public. However, this has not prevented Musk from ruminating over their designs and the bizarre features that Tesla has to offer. In 2023 and beyond, the following is a list of the possible models that Tesla will release. The Cybertruck At a gathering in 2019, Tesla made a splash by presenting the Cybertruck pickup, which had a peculiar appearance. However, the reasons for this were not all positive. Initially, the windows of the vehicle were promoted as being armored. Nevertheless, they smashed twice while the truck was being demonstrated on stage. Some people were unable to get past the peculiar appearance of it. In May, Elon Musk informed shareholders that the first Cybertrucks are scheduled to be delivered later in the year 2023. Uncertainty exists around the number of refundable deposits of $100 that Tesla has collected for the truck. Some interesting information about the pickup truck, as stated by Musk. In a limited capacity, it will be able to function as a Cybertruck boat. There will be a variant of the Cybertruck that has four motors and the ability to spin in place like a tank. Additionally, Musk stated that the truck would not have door handles and that the side mirrors would be detachable by the driver. We had to invent a whole new set of manufacturing techniques to build an exoskeleton-based car instead of an endoskeleton-based car. Musk said to Tesla shareholders during the company's annual meeting in May of 2023, I think the product, if anything, is better than expectations. It's a coupe. In the beginning, Tesla produced a sports automobile known as the Roadster, which had two seats. The company is now reintroducing it as a supercar, which boasts the ability to reach 60 miles per hour in less than two seconds and can go 620 miles on a single charge. According to Musk, the Roadster will be equipped with cold air thrusters that will increase acceleration and make it possible for it to hover for short distances. As the Roadster made its premiere in 2017, Tesla stated that it would be available for purchase by the year 2020. The next generation Roadster, according to Musk, will hopefully start production between the years 2024 and 2025. As of June, Tesla is accepting deposits of $5,000 that are refundable in 2023 with the remaining $45,000 being payable within 10 days to ensure your position in the Qu. Tesla. The Semi, the Tesla 18-wheeler Semi was introduced in 2017 to bring about a change in the long-haul transportation industry. Despite being three years behind schedule, it was able to deliver the first Tesla Semi trucks to Pepsi in December 2022 as part of its trial production. According to Tesla, the Semi, which will be constructed in the company's factory in Nevada, would have the capacity to go up to 500 miles on a single charge. The clarification that the range estimate takes into consideration cargo was provided by Musk during an earnings call in October of 2022. In 30 minutes, the Tesla Semi will recuperate 70% of its range when it is hooked into a fast charger, and the company claims that the truck's three motors can deliver acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds when it is fully loaded. As a result of a defect in the parking brake that could cause the vehicle to roll, Tesla conducted a recall on 35 of the Semis in March 2023. In addition, there have been a great number of complaints of Tesla trucks breaking down while they are being driven on the road. The Robotaxi When Tesla told investors in 2019 that there would be 1 million Robotaxis on the roads by the end of the year, he was the first to hint at the possibility of a Robotaxi. That did not work out and Tesla Autopilot is currently locked at level 2 autonomy according to the norms of the automation business, while other firms have gone into level 3 automation and beyond. About the appearance of the robotaxi, there has been very little information provided. The terminology for the robotaxi can be a little bit confusing, because that's kind of like a generic term for our next generation vehicle. Musk said during an earnings call in April 2022. Additionally, we are working on the next generation car you are going to find it to be very convincing. At this point, it is simply not appropriate to discuss the product in greater depth. That is why we refer to it as RoboTaxi internally. 
$25,000 for a compact automobile. Elon Musk stated in the year 2020 that the business was working on a Tesla automobile that would cost $25,000 and would be available about three years from now. On the other hand, Musk dashed hopes that the budget model would be released soon when he said in January that Tesla had abandoned the initiative to produce a more affordable automobile. When Musk said that Tesla's next vehicle platform would be smaller and cost approximately half as much as that of the Model 3 and Model Y, he reignited curiosity about the inexpensive vehicle. This occurred during the earnings call for the third quarter of 2022, which took place in October 2022. The sales of that future model, he predicted, would swiftly surpass the sales of all current Tesla offerings combined. There is a lack of clarity on whether Musk was talking to the robo-taxi or the $15,000 automobile that he had previously indicated. Despite this, he has stated once again that one of Tesla's primary objectives is to have a more inexpensive car. The Cyberquad Cybertruck and Cyberquad are offered by Tesla. Associated Press Photographer Ringo H. Uichu. The Cyberquad ATV was introduced by Tesla at the same time as the Cybertruck, but the company has not provided much information about it since then. It also sold a children's Cybersquad version for $1,900 for a short period, but it has since been recalled. It has been stated by Musk that the adult model will be available for purchase alongside the Cybertruck as an alternative. The Tesla Van On multiple times, Musk has brought up the possibility of a Tesla van emerging in the future. Musk stated that it may be powered by built-in solar panels on the podcast that Joe Rogan hosted the previous year. Two new, unknown products. At the annual shareholder meeting of Tesla, which took place in May 2023, Elon Musk hinted at the existence of two new Tesla vehicles, although he did not reveal what those vehicles will be. According to Musk, Tesla would probably sell at least 5 million copies of the two models combined each year through their combined sales. Both the design of the products and the manufacturing techniques are head and shoulders above anything else that is present in the industry, according to his statement. Introducing Tesla's revolutionary lithium refinery. We are currently in the process of breaking ground on Tesla's in-house lithium refinery, which will be situated in the Greater Corpus Christi neighborhood of Texas. When it is finished, the facility will be an investment in Southwest Texas that is greater than $1 billion. We are making this investment because it is essential to our objective to hasten the transition to sustainable energy around the world. It also represents our efforts to aggressively increase the supply of battery-grade lithium hydroxide that is available in North America. The establishment of the first industrial deployment of an acid-free lithium refining pathway will take place on the site that encompasses more than 1,200 acres. This procedure does away with the utilization of potentially harmful chemicals and byproducts in favor of more benign alternatives. This facility generates a byproduct that is used in the manufacturing of construction materials. This byproduct is a mixture of sand and limestone, and it makes beneficial use of waste drains that are traditionally available. Additionally, we anticipate that this facility will be able to process other intermediate lithium feedstocks in the future. These feedstocks will include recycled batteries and scrap from manufacturing. Master Plan Part 3 In today's discussion, we will be discussing Master Plan Part 3, which provides an outline of a potential path to achieve a sustainable global energy economy using end-use electrification, as well as sustainable electricity generation and storage. A discussion of the assumptions, sources, and computations that underpin that proposition is presented in this study. Commentary and conversation are both encouraged. Did you like it? Tell us what you think of the video in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos.